Hi, welcome to another video. This is going to be the first part in a series of videos covering some simple modifications you can carry out to improve airflow through your cylinder head. So what if I said one of the best modifications would cost you £10 or less? You think I was lying right? Well, stay tuned and we'll find out. So before we get started, I'd just like to give a shout out to uh, Peter Wright at Turbo Mini TV for this uh, fantastic mug that he's made me here. Uh, you can find him under Melbourne Specialist Printing on Facebook and he'll be doing t-shirts and stickers and these kind of things. So uh, yeah, it's top quality. So as usual, grab a brew and let's get started. Unless it's some really horrific design, the primary restriction in any intake system is going to be the inlet valve itself. So this is where we're going to be starting with our modifications. Right, the modification we're going to uh, cover today is probably the simplest and cheapest modification you could possibly carry out to your cylinder head and it's uh, also one of the most effective. So this is a standard uh, factory intake valve here. Uh, it's actually MG Metro size so it's 35.6mm. As you can see, if we get a close up on the seat there, the seat's really wide, so that's a 45 degree seat, uh, as all factory valves are, but it's about 3mm wide, so it's incredibly wide that valve seat. So what we're going to do is, this is a stage 3 head that I've just finished, so we'll uh, pop that out. So that, again, this is the same type of valve, just a normal road spec valve, but as you can see here, if we get a close there, actually put a 30 degree angled back cut behind the seat there so we've got that's a normal 45 degree seat which we've got still got there but that's now about 60 thou wide instead of uh, about 120 thou and there's a 30 degree back cut there so that narrow, not only narrows the seat but it also puts a slight angle after the seat so it goes from 30 degrees to 45 onto the seat so this is one of my typical stage 3 road spec cylinder heads and I carry out the back cut modification to every single valve that I fit into these heads. You'll find a lot of aftermarket just off the shelf the cylinder heads supplied with the valves without this modification uh, well uh, missing out on a trick there so you'll see in the later videos where we show the flow bench uh, improvements this modification makes that uh, it's definitely worthwhile for the cost involved. So this is a typical race valve, so this is a one piece stainless race valve, but these are about 16, 17 quid a piece. Uh, it actually features the back cut modification that I've just been talking about already on it, so you wouldn't need to do anything to that valve if that's what you had. But like I said, they're about 16, 17 quid a piece. Uh, the road spec ones are about 7, 8 quid a piece. Uh, and if you've got the facilities you can modify it yourself or I'll actually modify them at £2.50 a valve. So that works out quite a lot cheaper even if you're buying those valves and with the modification on top it's still cheaper or if you've got existing usable valves in your head then for £2.50 you can uh, have the back cut applied or if you've got, like say if you've got the facilities you can do it yourself so we're just going to look at a couple of ways that you can carry out that right so I'm just going to do a really crude drawing here just to make it completely clear uh, what we're talking about so we'll imagine that that's our chamber that's one side that's the other side and then we've got the valve seat, so 45 degrees there, and then down, and into your port. Then we've got the valve stem, and then we've got a valve, obviously lifted off its seat here, and we've got a 45 degree seat there, and we've got a 45 degree seat there. And that's our valve. And that goes, obviously, up and down there. So when it comes down, the seat obviously closes there and closes there. So the when the valve lifts off the seat, the gap through here is obviously limited depending on how high it is off the seat. So if we then cut that corner off, which is the 30 degree corner I'm talking about, so we narrow the seat on the, on the valve itself, so we put that to 30 degrees instead of that 45. There, make that a 30 degree. That widens that area for the air to flow through there. Instead of having that tight passage 
where it's 245 degrees you've obviously cut a bit of the back of the valve away then 30 degrees and that actually widens this part and allows the air to funnel through there better so it comes out the port and past the valve and into the ch chamber and it just cuts some of the restriction away it also allows the air when it's passing across the back of the valve it doesn't have as tight a turn to do it travels across the back of the valve head and it's just got that 30 degree turn and then off the seat and then so just basically helps to cut that restriction out there so it's a really simple modification like i say costs virtually nothing uh, and the improvement in airflow is quite decent as we'll see later as we test it on the floor bench so there's a couple of ways you can apply the uh, back cut to the valve one of them is you could pop it in a lathe if you have access to a lathe and you could apply the back cut that way or the other way is to use one of these machines here which is a valve dressing machine so you actually pop that in the in the chuck there and then you start the machine up and you can set the angle on there so you can set that at 30 degrees and then you set it off and pass the valve across it and that'll actually cut the the back cut on it until you've got the seat width that you want so that's dead easy the machine's set up for it uh, it takes a couple of minutes to do each valve so the easiest way to compare the before and after modification to the valve is there's a standard valve so I've blued the, the valve seat up there so you can see the full width of the seat so there's your 3mm seat and then there's one that I've just put in the valve machine and you can see the back cut there and what's left of the seat so there's a 60,000 seat there and then the 30 degree back cut behind it so that's the before the before and after modifications there you can see that clearly so there we go that's the difference right so that's it for part one and our first modification so in the next few videos we're going to be covering some minor chamber modifications and some valve seat work and then we're going to get a completely standard cylinder head and we're going to airflow test it on the floor bench and then we're going to carry out the modifications one at a time so we'll do the back cut valve we'll do without the back cut valve then we'll do the seat and the chamber work that we're going to do in the other videos and we'll uh, chest every single modification on the floor bench and we'll see just what uh, difference it makes to airflow uh, each individual modification and then the head modified with all the modifications combined and just to uh, see how much impact that has so stay tuned if you've enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and uh, yeah keep an eye out for the next videos that will be coming in the following weeks okay thanks for watching cheers